Hey, I'm Max. Let's talk about Mario Kart. More specifically, a segment I like to call, Who the fuck picks the characters for these games? Because things get nuttier every game they make. First off, Super Mario Kart, 1992 for the Super Nintendo. Things start off pretty normal, you got your basics. You got your Mario, your Luigi, your Princess, your Bowser, your Yoshi. You got your sort of left fielders, you got your Koopa Trooper, you got your Toad. And then you got your sore thumb, you got Donkey Kong Jr. Donkey Kong Country hadn't been released yet, so DK wasn't really a big thing at that point. But in retrospect, it's a little weird, because Donkey Kong's become so huge, and DK Jr. has kind of fallen off the face of the earth. Next. Mario Kart 64, 1997 in America for the N64. Nearly the same cast as last game, but Wario has replaced Koopa Troopa and Donkey Kong has replaced his son. I mean, father. Look, it's really complicated. Look up the lore on your own time. Nothing too crazy to report here, but it is interesting to note that Kamek from Yoshi's Island was supposed to be playable originally, but was replaced by Donkey Kong. Then you got Super Circuit, 2001 for the Game Boy Advance. Same roster as the last game, but it doesn't really matter because there is not a living soul on this planet who gives a shit about this game. After that, Double Dash, 2003 for the Nintendo GameCube. My personal favorite, two people per cart, cool new mechanic, gotta love it. Bunch of cool new additions to this game, but this is where stuff starts to get a little weird. You got the duos that make sense. You got your Mario and your Luigi. You got your Peach, you got your Daisy. You got your Wario and your Waluigi. You got your Bowser and Bowser Jr. You got your Yoshi and your Birdo, I guess. You got your Donkey Kong and your Donkey Kong Jr. Oh, what's that? Just kidding. DK Jr.'s fucking dead. Long live Diddy Kong. Koopa Troopa's back from the dead, this time with Koopa Paratroopa, who's literally never been playable in a Mario Kart game since. For Toad, they decided to gender bend the shit out of him, so uh, enter Toadette in her debut game. In light of the recent Super Mario Sunshine, the two strangest newcomers, PD Piranha and King Boo, are playable. Finally, we got Baby Mario and Baby Luigi. Strange but not offensive, right? Wrong. Just wait. Next, Mario Kart DS. 2005, Nintendo DS. You start with the original roster from 64. Cool. Four unlockable characters. You got Waluigi and Daisy, of course. Series staples. Koopa Troopa's dead, but not really. Enter Dry Bones in his series debut. Why can you play as the dead turtle instead of the live one? Who knows? Who cares? I do. Next up, they got Rob. Who's Rob? Better question is, what's Rob? He's a real piece of hardware from the NES times. For some reason, he's a playable living robot in this game. And this game only. He's never been playable in Mario Kart since. In addition, Shy Guy is playable for the first time in the series, but only through playing multiplayer without a cartridge. No, it doesn't make any damn sense, but as you can tell, this is where things really start to go off the rails. Or, or tracks, I I don't know. Mario Kart Wii, 2008 for the Wii. Hey, remember two seconds ago when I said things started to go off the rails? This is when the whole train is off the rails. Brakes are cut, hurtling towards civilization. God knows what's going on in there. You got a whole bunch of series mainstays, of course. You could even play as your me. But then someone at Nintendo took their mouth off the crack pipe and said, ooh, time for me to pick some characters. <laughs> hey, Koopa's back. So is his dead body at the exact same time. Did you like that whole shindig? Do you like Bowser? Oh cool, now you can play as Bowser and dead Bowser because apparently crack is a hell of a drug. Did you miss Petey and King Boo from Double Dash? Hope you like playing as a way less interesting of the two. Justice for Petey. You got Funky Kong. Look, my dudes, I love Funky Kong as much as the next guy, but he's not a Mario character and he's in a Mario game. What he's doing in a Mario Kart game is completely beyond me. And then, the babies. You like baby Mario and Luigi? Here's baby Peach. You like baby Peach? No! Here's Baby Daisy anyway, a character literally created for this game! Mario Kart 7, 2011 for the Nintendo 3DS. The train is off the tracks, so there never were any tracks. It's a rogue train hurtling through a small Vietnamese village of innocence. Hundreds are dead in the wake of these nonsense character choices. It's a handheld game, so the roster's gonna be small, so you'd think, hey, maybe they'll pick important characters this time, right? Well, you're wrong! Play as the Caterpillar from Mario World! Play as Lockitu, the guy who usually referees a race and shouldn't even need a cart, because he's always in a flying cloud! Play as the giant bee queen from Super Mario Galaxy that had to crawl all over to get some pieces of a star, and you're like, ew, I don't feel good about this because I'm 14 and this is weird. And she's like, no, no, you gotta get the star. You gotta do it to get the star. And she's playable now. Bring back all those memories. And plays Mario, but he's metal. That's right, it's the exact same model, except they just put a metal texture over it. whoop de fucking do That's a whole new character for you. And worst of all, worst of all, Waluigi is gone. Why does Nintendo hate Waluigi so much? Mario Kart 8 released 2014 for the Wii U and has a deluxe version 2017 for the Nintendo Switch. There's no longer a train. There's no longer tracks. It's just a pure cocaine-powered force of madness. The Koopalings are in. All eight. All the babies are back. All four. Did you like them last time? No. Have another. Baby Rosalina made just for a damn day. Metal Mario's back. Ooh, did you like him? No. Well, here's the same thing with Peach, just with a dull gold skin. Whole new character, folks. You paid money for this. Ooh, can't forget about downloadable content, that old DLC. How'd you like someone interesting? Oh, like Kamek, who's been neglected for 20 years. Or how about any of those Super Mario Bros. 2 characters that Nintendo's been trying to bury like a prom night abortion? Well, too bad, motherfucker. Here's Mario and Peach in cat suits. And Dead Bowser. And Link. And Animal Crossing characters. In a Mario game. But surely, surely the expansion will expand upon this. That's why it's called an expansion, right? 
You bet, here is Metal Mario! But he's gold! It's the Mario model with a metal skin with a gold skin! I wish I was joking. Here's the Squid Kids from Splatoon! And the Link in another costume! So what's next for Mario Kart? Well, I hope you're ready to play as Baby Metal Gold Lockatoo in Spandex, cause it's happening! Like I said, who the fuck picks the characters for these games? There are arcade games?